blessing to be alive. You know, um, we are grateful to God. Can you imagine? God took us from January, brought us to October, like He did to the children of Israel. He brought them from Egypt to the mountain. From the mountain where He left Moses and Och Joshua to take the children of Israel to, to the promised land. Well, I'd like you to know that by the glory of God over our head and over our life, we have seen God doing wonderful things. We have seen God doing marvelous things. We have seen the wonders of God, the move of God, and we have seen the glory of God. Remember what the Bible says. I want us to, I just want to take you to Mark chapter 16 Mark chapter 16 Mark the 16th chapter the Bible says in Mark chapter 16 there was a great commission given to the disciple of Jesus Christ Mark 16 verse 14 he said literally he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who have seen him after he has risen. And he said unto them, Go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes is baptized. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpent. And if they drink anything dirty, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. This is the greatest commission ever. He said, go here into the gospel, uh, into the world, preach the gospel rather, unto all men he that believe must be saved. I guess probably whatever you are, you have been trusting in God, believe in God, and then things has not actually been easy with you as a person. But I can assure you that the only hope we have in this world is the gospel. The only hope is the gospel. And the gospel is still as age. It has been a profitable thing for the generation of old. It has blessed life. It has been a blessing to a lot of people. And this gospel of Jesus Christ, we want to take to the world. Because we know that this is the only saving power that the world is depending on. This is the only saving knowledge that the world has. Nothing else that we can use to save the world and save the gospel. So we want to take the gospel to the world, blessing life, blessing people, blessing those who are in darkness. And the gospel is all about bringing people that are in darkness to the marvelous light. And I could be proud today as a vessel being used by God to be a blessing to the world. We have seen the demonstrations of God's power in the life of God's people. We have seen the move of God in the life of God's people. We have seen the healing power of God in the life of God's people. But I want you to know that Paul said in Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, he said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. So the only power that we depend on in this world to save the world is the gospel. So this gospel needs to be spread to everyone so that those that are in darkness will come to light. Those that are in darkness will come to light. And they cannot come to light except the gospel is being preached. That is a divine mandate given to the church. The mandate is that we should go out into the world and preach the gospel unto all men. He that believe must be saved. Jesus is the only way. 
No matter the ups and downs, no matter the crises, the situation, and the challenges we face in the world, we depend on other powers, occult powers, powers from the faith, from the pit of hell. It can't help us. Politicians can't help us. The world is changing in a gradual basis. But we believe that Jesus is the only saving power that we have to change the world around. But I also want you to know that the devil has a very short time in other words to execute their plans. And we as children of God also have a short time to reach out to people and spread the gospel. And I believe by the grace of God that the gospel of Jesus Christ being preached around the world that people who have been a blessing we are grateful for the legacy of great men who are making part of the gospel. Thank God for God giving us the commission in our time. We know that it is our turn, it is our time, and I believe God that he will enable or empower us you know, to carry on this journey. And only God can do that. Only God, only God. Without God, there is nothing we can do. Only God. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I came live to let you know that this October is actually a prophetic month to every one of you who's our viewer, who's witnessing this channel live. Every October, we celebrate the move of God and the glory of God in every October. And then this October will be making us 10 years this commission by the grace of God. And we started this celebration with a fast and prayer, 40 day fast and prayer. In this fast and prayer, the Lord said to me, life is going to be touched, people are going to be healed, burdens are going to be lifted, Yokes are going to be broken by the anointing. It is only by the anointing that the burdens and the yoke will be broken by the anointing. So I want you to stay with me shortly and then I will come back and I will give you a brief explanation as we lead to October and the anointing.